There is fire on the mountain And nobody seems to be on the run Oh, there is fire on the mountain top And no one is a running I wake up in the morning So Nigerian citizens and friends of Nigeria um, resolved to constitute ourselves into a collection of concerned Nigerians and friends of Nigeria committed to the pursuit of social, political and economic progress in Nigeria. And what do I see? The president has violated the rule of law of the country. In fact, he should be impeached, not even looking for a medical report. We should consider the era of President Yaradua over and that we should move forward with the present acting president as the substantive president. If Mr. Yaradua, whatever his name is, is not able to do the job, he needs to get out. You need to fix your country. You don't, we don't need to be medical doctors to know that our president is incapacitated. So there's not medically been proven to be okay, and also physically has not been at his post. This house should first and foremost resolve that uh, Ahad Yaradua, who was uh, snuck into Nigeria a few weeks ago, be moved uh, to a hospice or a medical facility capable of taking care of his ailment, only known to his family, especially his wife. So those in support of that, should please indicate by raising their hands. Can you write that down? Yeah. You can write that down. Yeah. Write that down. So let me set it down. 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 I came here thinking that we are going to live here, forming an alternative, a government in exile. We, okay. as a group, have considered a government in exile, which members elected to speak on. But specific issues on behalf of this body. Now is the time to take center stage and show the mediocre the right way to conduct people's business with decorum and dignity. A movement of some sort, okay, comprising of our views from outside of the country as opposed to what is going on at home. I would probably call it a shadow government in the diaspora. We should call ourselves voice of the voiceless. That is what we are talking about corruption. It has eaten deep war into our body politic. It is among our leaders and it is also with the, with the followership. And in my own opinion, I agree with Mr. Kaba. We don't have no law in Nigeria. That constitution that we have right now came out of the chest pocket of Abu Salam. We need a constitution that will be truly representative of Nigeria. I bet United percent of members of the National Assembly in Nigeria right now are people from way back in the 60s. What are they still doing? Are they helping us or are they against us? What I see on my TV screen. The federal government is too big in Nigeria. It's not supposed to own anything. It's supposed to make its revenue by transaction. The solution to corruption and to make the center less attractive is to take the government from upstairs to the people downstairs. No public official in Nigeria may enjoy immunity for criminal acts, for criminal acts, period. We can individually and collectively write to every senator in the United States, write to Hillary Clinton, write to every organization that we can, form a very strong organization and be a pressure group and say to them, we know all we want for you is to insist that Nigeria do the right thing. This time around. I think it begins with uh, Nigerians learning to be Nigerians first before they are from Arewa Republic or Uluwa Republic or Biafra Republic. People who have the obligation and constitutional authority to do anything about this Kwakwa in Nigeria today is the National Assembly. The change doesn't have to happen tomorrow. But we have said in, as a people together that this is what hasn't worked for Nigeria and this is what is likely to work for Nigeria. We need to educate ourselves from our homes. I said charity begins at home. The Nigerian police force really, really, really sucks. We need to disorganize that force. It is the police officers 
that will go to the state level and try to harass even all those who think they are resist. So we need to talk about the moral fiber that guides the police officers in Nigeria. The owner of the land owns what is on it and beneath it. In other states and other regions, rubber, cocoa, granite is owned by those that own the land. Land use degree and the petroleum act should be appropriated as soon as possible. Thank you. Then Juma and others could declare they make this number of millions. He's the courageous one to come out and say it. But there are so many, some of them unfortunately are equally from the Niger Delta too. And we also need to hold the leadership, various leadership within Niger Delta. They should not be left out of the because simply because they are from Niger Delta. So that's my little contribution over this.